It was close to four in the morning when we found the box of pictures. I felt the ground slip out from under me as I was walking towards the back of the basement. My ankle rolled over the edge of a deep hole I hadn't seen, and I barely caught myself from falling in. I would have broken my leg. As it was, I only sprawled face first in the dirt. The hole was three feet deep by three wide. It had been hidden by a piece of plywood covered with a few thin shovelfuls of soil. I got up with as much dignity as I could muster, dusted myself off, and probed the hole with my flashlight. There was an old cardboard shoebox resting at the bottom. B's flashlight beam fell into the hole alongside mine. What's that? she said. I slid into the hole and dug it out. The box came up easily. It felt heavy and rattled as I pulled it from the soil. I handed it to B and climbed out of the hole. The top of the shoebox said, College Memories, in blue permanent marker. Old pictures, she said, looking inside. Let me see. B leaned over my shoulder, steadying the light as I sorted through them. I tried to focus on the pictures and not the soft weight of her breasts on my arm. Polaroids. The box was filled to the brim with dusty yellow Polaroids. I picked up the one at the very top of the pile. It depicted a muscle-bound man in his early twenties, standing next to the same hole I'd almost just broken my ankle falling into. The guy in the picture was wearing cut-off jean shorts, a tank top, and a backwards net-back hat. He was soaked with sweat and leaning on a shovel, a vulpine grin thinly splitting his lips. He was tan, his hair bleached blonde by the sun. In the bottom margin of the picture, someone had scrawled a caption in blue ink. Andy Diggs. B's voice stirred next to me. Drew, what the f*** is this? She handed me another Polaroid from the pile, black film with no picture. A message scrawled on the back read, they see you. B snatched the picture out of my hand. What a fuck? Who sees you? I don't know. This guy, maybe? He looks pretty badass. I showed her the picture of Andy digging. She snorted. Awesome style. This was taken exactly where we're standing, I said. B seemed to read my thoughts. She poked through a few of the other pictures. Why would someone bury these? Drew, this is freaking me out. You're just drunk. But to be honest, I was freaked out, too. I'd seen scenarios like this play out countless times in horror movies. B frowned and blew out a B-sized cloud of pale breath. Happy New Year to you, too, Dad. There are way too many of these to look at down here. Let's take this upstairs, I said. I gave the shoebox a gentle shake. It was so heavy I thought the bottom might fall out. There was my escape, my way back to the light, I didn't think, didn't know it was even possible, that we weren't escaping at all, but taking that darkness with us, opening the hole that would let it out, and set it free. I wish we'd left those pictures where we found them.